Hi, I am so glad you could join us for our children's message today. I'm Pastor Melissa, and I'm excited to be with you today. I've been thinking a lot about um, our, our Bible verse from Vacation Bible School. And if you participate in that, maybe you remember that. But it's from Ephesians 6.10. It said, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Can you say that with me right now? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And then it goes on to say, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand your ground. And they talk about all the different um, pieces of armor that um, we're called to put on. So I want you to help me do that right now. It says, stand firm, therefore, with the belt of truth. Can you help put on your belt of truth? Where we put on our belt of truth buckled around your waist. Now, um, the, when we talk about the belt of truth, we're talking about listening to the truth, what God says, right? So we're remembering God's love for us, that we are beautifully and wonderfully made and that God claims and loves us. So we put on that belt of truth. Then next, we've got to put on that breastplate of righteousness. So you can, can you help me put yours on now? Okay, let's put on our breastplate of righteousness. Now, when we talk about righteousness, it means being right with God. What do you think that means? So when I I think about being right with God, I I think about doing what's pleasing to God. So how do we please God? Well, we love others, don't we? And and so we can put on that breastplate of righteousness by loving others. And you can think about some different ways that you can love others by being kind and helping people out, right? So the next, we gotta you gotta stand up now because we gotta get our, our feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So stand up, all right? Let's get our get our feet ready here. Stomp with me a little bit. We gotta get our feet ready so that we can go out and share God's love, right? And so we have this assurance that God is with us and that God loves us. And so everywhere we go, we make a difference just by being the people that God created us to be, right? So then we got to get our shield of faith. You ready? All right, we get our shield of faith. Hoo-ah! All right, help me out here. Ready? Hoo-ah! And so this is our, our, our faith is our belief in God, that we trust in God no matter what's going on, right? And so then we next need our, our helmet of salvation. Ready? Let's put our helmets on. All right, our helmets of salvation. So we think about salvation, it means that we've been saved, that we've been saved by Jesus because he loves us so much and he laid down his life for us so that we can know how much he loves us and live fully in his love. So we put on that, that, that helmet of salvation. All right, let's get out our swords. You ready? <sighs> Got to get our swords ready. The sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, right? And this is, remember that God gives us scripture to guide us throughout life. And so we have all this armor that God has given us to use each and every day. Well, I don't know about you, but over the last few weeks, you know, school's getting closer. And, and so in my house, you know, we've been hearing about how school's really not going to look quite different this year, isn't it? And, and so my, I know my kids are getting a little anxious, and so have I. You know, and as I think about it, you know, I, I get a little nervous about it, and I wonder how things are going to be. And sometimes it just feels like a lot you know, a lot of things to adjust to and a lot of things going on, you know, a lot of things being thrown at us. But the good news is that God has given us everything that we need to be able to deal with whatever comes our way. And so I, as we think about it, I, I have this orange that represents our the kind of the, you know, think about the armor of God that represents us. And the, 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 the peel around it is the, that armor of God. And the interesting thing is when it has that armor on and you put it in water, what happens? Look, it floats. Isn't that cool? It it floats. It's like it's standing firm in the water, right? And so we got to remember that that God gives us all these things. But what happens, you know, sometimes, you know, in life, you know, sometimes we, we may not, we may kind of start to believe some of those things that maybe someone says something that's not nice about us. And we start to believe it instead of believing that God, you know, loves us so much and that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. Or maybe we start, stop thinking, you know, about pleasing God and, and start thinking more about how we can just please ourselves and do what, whatever we want to do instead of thinking about how we can love others. 
Or maybe we, um, you know, think about, you know, um, that how that, that we forget that all that Jesus did for us and how we're called to live out our lives for him. Or, or that we have a scripture to guide us each and every day, you know, through life. And so we sometimes just forget to put that armor on. And what happens? <gasps> Uh-oh. It sinks. But my friends, we have to remember that we have this armor of God that God has given us that we can put on and remember that we are beloved and that we are acclaimed by God. And when we do, we can stand firm against anything that comes our way. And so I invite you to pray with me right now. I want you to wrap your arms around you, just like we're putting on that armor of God, kind of like a, a big hug from God, right, as we remember about that armor. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for your love, that you gave us everything that we need, that we can get through anything with your love and grace. Help us to put on the full armor of God each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen.